interrupt this program to bring you a special report. look at snowflakes in the winter when they land on your coat or mitten just before they melt? Each snowflake is a six-pointed work of art. All snowflakes have six sides. They can end up looking totally different from one another. In fact, scientists have names for more than 30 different shapes of snow crystals. Some are big and flat and are called plates. Others look long and narrow, called needles. Still, others are tall and wide, like columns. And then there's probably the most famous shape, 
called dendrites. They look kind of like stars that have sprouted tree branches. The shape that each snow crystal takes depends on what the conditions were like as it formed in the cloud. Things like temperature and how much water is in the air can make a big difference if you're a snowflake. So, for example, colder temperatures often make flakes with more pointy and fancy arms. While snow crystals that are made in warmer temperatures and air with less water in it tend to be smaller and simpler. Now, you might have heard that no two snowflakes are alike. A lot of them do look really similar to each other, but scientists think that it would be really hard for any two to end up being exactly the same. That's because the conditions in the clouds are always changing, so the flakes that they make are always changing too. Once a snowflake takes shape, its journey has only just begun. After bouncing around in the cloud for a while, it falls to the ground. And as it falls, it keeps changing, depending on the temperature, the amount of water in the air, and other things like wind that it passes through. Since each flake takes a different path all the way to the ground, each one ends up being slightly different. And that's why scientists say that no two snowflakes are exactly the same. But they're all really interesting and beautiful. So now you know how snow crystals are made by nature. morning. How's the start to your day going? You know what? I was reminded this morning by some beautiful ladies that it is important to always empower a fellow lady and a fellow woman to make sure that we are always striving for excellence. And I know that there are amazing men and boys out there who also support to make sure that we have a space where we can be strong and make sure that each of us are going to be soaring through the glass roof, as they call it. I think empowering one another is a very important message to send out today. We should all be supportive of one another. Now, does that mean we have to all get along all the time and be friends with every single person? No, and that's a great question because that's not even possible. But we can always be kind and respectful. And right. even when, Miss Cariotti, you and I know this about each other, even when we disagree and we have a debate or there's something that's not gelling in our thoughts and in our minds, we find a respectful way to share our opinions to we each do. other. And I think that that's really important. On another note, I'm really excited about arts and crafts. Ooh. So I'm very artsy crafty. I know you are as well. I love to use the awesome machines like the Cricut Cry Cut. I'm not sure what it's ever called. But yeah. Printers and labels and even just posh markers or anything that's really fun. And so cool. My daughter actually left for school today and she is making a mouse trap car. It's this big innovative way that she's going to create a car out of a mouse trap and she's shaved off some graphite from a pencil to slow down the friction. It, it's just an amazing craft that she's going to go and do at school and I can't wait to see the outcome but I realize that even our friends at home might have a bunch of things in their drawers and in their fun spaces where they might be drawing and crafts can be anything. So I know winter is coming along and I think that we probably should put out there what are the kinds of crafts that our families, our students, and our staff are doing. I'm really interested to know. I would love to see that too. So there are some crafts that I'm okay with. I'm better at the digital design of crafts, like doing crafts through Canva and tools like that, the digital aspect of art creation. I'm not very good at gift wrapping. 
I know, Miss Carrie, but that's okay. We'll 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 keep working on that one. Listen, it is a beautiful Wednesday day, and we have such amazing things ahead of us. I know the basketball team had a successful night last night. I was able to talk to Mr. Spencer. Congratulations on that. We have craft day. We have so many different events going on. The Instagram is blowing up always. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to enjoy your day because you're amazing. And I know Mr. Thompson, he called me last night and he wanted to send a shout out to everyone out there. He also says you're amazing. You can do anything that you can think of. So have a good day, Miss Carrietti. I will speak to you soon. Smile always. See you soon. Bye, EBS.